It's Lou Manfredini, Aces Home Expert, in this video. We're going to show you how to cut baseboard. All right, so if you're looking for an excuse to buy a new power tool, this is a good video to watch because we're going to be talking about cutting inside and outside corners when it comes to base trim. I'm using a compound miter saw. This is actually a battery operated one by Craftsman. So it's a slide saw. It not only cuts back and forth, but it slides. The sliding action allows you to cut larger materials. Now what I'm gonna be demoing on is this is a piece of a three and a quarter inch colonial base trim for the demo purposes. And so imagine this, if you're doing an inside corner, something like a wall like this, that's 90 degrees. So typically, you're going to cut 45 degree angles on both pieces of trim and then bring them together and nail them to the wall. So we're going to demo that. Remember, whenever you're using power tools, always wear safety glasses and make sure that you are comfortable using tools like this and you follow all the manufacturer's recommended safety procedures when doing this. Now, for this particular uh, cut, I'm going to hold the base trim up towards me and I'm going to place the back of the trim against what's called the fence of the saw here. And you'll see that on the front portion of this saw, this wheel right here actually tightens the spinning uh, motion of the, the deck and the saw and everything that goes. And there are click points on here that are set to different levels. All the way to the left here, that's my 45 degree angle, and I'm gonna tighten that down. I'm gonna move this saw here so I'm safely in front of it. I'm gonna place the material against that fence and I'm gonna line it up. And now, holding that firmly with my hand away from the blade, I'm gonna engage the saw and I'm gonna cut down through the material. Now that is giving me my first inside 45 degree angle cut. All right, now to do the other side of the inside corner for this demo, you have to be mindful of a saw like this because you can't just orient the uh, trim the same way. In other words, if you turn it this way and bring the trim over here, the motor of the unit will hit the top of this trim. If this was a larger saw with a bigger blade, you'd be able to do that, but in order to compensate for that and still get the same results. I'm going to put the saw zero at 90 degrees. I'm going to take advantage of the compound miter feature, drop this all the way down to 45 degrees. And then I'm going to turn and orient the trim so the top of the edge of this colonial base is towards me. I'm going to place that on the deck of the saw. Again, my hand is away from the blade and I'm going to firmly hold it. And then I'm going to slowly turn this saw on and I'm going to cut through to get that other 45. It's really quite a smooth saw. And when I put these two together now, this creates that 90 degree inside corner that we're looking for. And you could nail this in place and then with a painted trim like that, once it's nice and tight, you could use a little caulking in there to finish it off. And when you paint it, it'll look seamless as it comes around the corner. Now the same is true if you're going to use this saw to cut outside corners. You would orient it and change the place. I've already set up a couple of boards here that have uh, outside corners so you can see how that works. You see that trim there is cut on the outside. The other is here together and so you would bring those together, same thing, that 90 degree uh, cut is there. You put caulking, paint it, and you're done. You just always wanna make sure that you take your time, you have a healthy respect for a power saw like this, and follow all the directions that come with the tool. If you'd like more helpful videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always learn more at acehardware.com, or better yet, stop by your local Ace Hardware store, because Ace is the helpful place.